Good morning, everyone. After morning, we've got only six amps outside. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video here from the Off Grid Garage. Today, with a little experiment I have done, I'm just peeking up there where I have got my crocodile clamps connected to these solar strings here. Let me explain the situation, what we have right now. So this is the setup on top of the roof. We've got several different panels with different voltages. And I was always curious to find out if you can connect them together and what happens. Because I said in my previous videos, you should not combine such strings. Because look at this one, far lower voltage than the other ones. So these three are SunTech panels, Rini Solar, TNS Solar, and these are the BLD ones. And you can see these ones have 250 watts, but a far lower voltage, but higher amps. So I was always under the impression if you combine these together, there will be current flowing from these two strings into this panel here, because this one has a lower voltage. And current obviously flows from higher potential to lower potential. Always, always, always. Okay, so let's do the unthinkable and connect these strings together in parallel. And let's measure some currents and see where current is actually flowing. We have connected all this here to a solar charge controller which takes care of everything. And I want to start with this string alone and measure the amps coming from this string and then put the second one in place and then the third one and see what happens. Because these ones are fairly close together. This is only one volt difference between these two strings. There should be no problem to combine these ones together in parallel and feed the solar charge controller. But this one is the odd one, right? Far lower voltage, higher amps, but lower voltage. So we are expecting current going from these two strings into this string here because of the lower voltage. Let's see if this is true. Okay, so I have now disconnected all three strings. You can see we've got zero watts in the solar charge controller. And what I'm going to do now all right, let's quickly measure the open circuit voltage of all three strings here. So we start from the left with the SunTech string. And we can see 120.7 volts open circuit. The next string is the Rini Solar and TNS panel combined. 119.1. See, that's almost the same voltage now. Perfect. So we could actually combine these ones in parallel without problem. And now the third one is the far right one on the drawing. And this is the 250 watts BLD panels with a lower voltage. And we have 99.7 volts only. So this is like 20 volts less than the two other strings. Okay, let's connect our TNS string first. 122 volts we have and just wait for this one to ramp up there is shading on the roof at the moment so i'm not expecting more than one amp actually out of these panels at the moment here okay 0 0.6 0 0.7 we have in the maximum power point okay i'm now connecting the middle string with the rini solar and tns panel additionally Uh, we can see we've got two amps now, so this one delivers a little bit more power already because of the shading. And now we connect the third string with the 250 watt BLD panels and lower voltage. Let's see actually if we get a spark here or something. No, we don't. Do we see an increase in current? Okay, I'm disconnecting it again. Oh. So these are only the two first strings. And now I put the other one in place again. So 0 0.3 amps only increase. Let's wait a moment until it finds the power point here. 
335, 340 watts. Still climbing. Do we get 350? Almost 350. There we go, 350. Okay, I'm disconnecting the 250 watt panels again. And the voltage and the, the power goes down. So obviously these panels are also contributing to the power. There we go, 4.1 amps out of all three strings together. All right, let's measure some current here for these three strings. So start with the left one again. This is our SunTech panel, one amp. Coming from there, one amp. Okay, the medium one is the Rene Solar and TNS, 1.8 amps, less shading obviously. And the third one is the 250 watt panels from BLD, 1.5 amps. So we can see there is no negative symbol in any of the currents here. So all of these three strings are pushing power towards the solar charge controller. Okay, we are measuring here only the 250 watt panels from BLD at the moment. I've disconnected the other two and we are getting 2.1 amps from the panels. And this is exactly what the app here confirms as well, 2.1 amps. So if I connect now one of the other strings, does this current go down or will it be the same? So 2.35 and I'm connecting the middle string. It's connected. There's nothing happening. We can see an increase in amps here on the app, but for this 250 watt string with a lower voltage, the current is not going down. So there's no current pushing against it. I'm disconnecting the other string again. 2.3 amps. Connecting it again, 2.2, okay, there's shading, ah, the shade is 2.26, connecting it again, 2.13, disconnecting again, nah, it stays the same, connecting it again, So that's very interesting. I'm connecting the third one as well. Still not going down. It goes down because of shading. Ah, damn it. So what we could see now when I just connected this string here with a lower voltage to the solar charge controller, there was 2.2 amps going from these panels into the solar charge controller. Once I connected this one here, I still could measure the 2.2 amps from coming from the string plus an additional 2.1 amps from this one into the solar charge controller. But there was no current going this way. So you would expect if there is a small current going this way, you would expect a smaller current coming from the panels, but this was not the case. So obviously you can actually combine different voltage strings to each other without having cross current flowing. This is not an endorsement to do that. This is just a test guys. So don't do it at home. <laughs> That's what people always say, right? Don't do it at home. Um, what I think is this situation may be different in the morning or in the afternoon when the sun is very low and the panels are not producing much power. And I don't know, there might be a situation where you have a higher voltage on one string and a lower voltage on this string, and there might be some current pushing against the lower voltage string. So I cannot confirm this with my testing at the moment here. From what it looks like, all three strings are pushing current towards the solar charge controller because the current is always choosing the path with the lowest resistance. And this is definitely the solar charge controller and not another energy source, which is actually pushing current in the same direction as the other strings. So the solar charge controller is your energy sink. All current goes this way all the time.
Again, no endorsement, no recommendation of doing that. This is just a test. I was just curious to see if what actually happens and if there is a negative impact on the low voltage string. Obviously there isn't. All right, guys, so far this little experiment again, I continue doing stuff. Stay charged, stay safe. We shall see us again in the next one very soon. Okay, guys, catch you then. Bye.